We're back. Bare Bones Broadcasting. Here's what you got to do here. You don't need to tax the rich. You need to get them contributing. Mm -hmm. You don't need to tax anything compared to call contribution. Take the load off of why you need to tax. Why do you need to tax? Because contribution is stingy. You've got to get the load off the tax. Get it off. There's no reason to have it there. It's absolutely wasted overhead to what the home has to do. And what genetics is designed and engineered to do. You are a mammal. And you have an overhead in tax now that's in conflict of interest, fanning more of it. you got the horse, the head, and the tail stuck in its mouth, and it's going round and round. Three, I figure, just hearing your documentary, listening to the report, the family tree of this creature, about three and a half million years, from what I've overheard, you tell me. I am the echo of information, and I'm not very bright. I won't argue that. I am the last in line, the most insignificant, the most typical, dumbass, autistic, birth-defected piece of crap that you'll ever find. And my maker said, yes! <laughs> the Lord's an idiot. I won't argue that. I am here because an idiot sent me. Absolutely, I would not be here. I have shirked all my life. I woke up, Rip Van Winkle, went to the Lord in prayer, and God have pity on me. I'm like Paul said, you can't find yourself in a worse place. Want to bet? The Apostle Paul. Damn the Lord. Yea, Darwin. Yea, Charles Darwin! God damn the Lord for Charles Darwin's bellyache! When I die, I'm going to punch the Lord right here. Right here for Charles Darwin's bellyache. How about you? Whatever he said, I bet it would have come out better if he didn't have a belly egg, for God's sake. And I like what the man said. He said, however you challenge it, that's exactly, and it'll do more than that even. Darwin said there's more here than you can challenge. He didn't say, whatever you quote him, you get baloney. It's a lot more than that. He said it sweeter, too. Charles Darwin did not jade this place. In fact, he said there's no reason to. You didn't say you breed out weak. That's the dumbest thing I ever heard. In a state of immunity, do you breed out the weak? You're keep injecting yourself with weak continually. What are you talking about breed out the weak? I never heard anything so stupid. You're genetic. You don't breed out the weak, you idiot. What is more instinctive in genetics than anything? Immunity! The only thing genetics knows is immunity and how it does it by reinvesting in itself. Especially the weak. And I'll tell you right now, what you calling the weak are the strong, and what you're calling the strong are the weak. That's why the first will be last, and the last will be first, because you get the name exactly reversed. And what the weak are now, when you look at the people with money, how bright are they? Well, how bright are they? You ever find people with money dumber than a box of rocks, and everyone taking advantage of them? Ever seen it? Every day? Whatever, whoever inherits these inheritances, I, somebody was talking about this lady that, do they have any logic? Can I ask you something? Does Nancy Reagan have any logic? Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> let me answer that. My interpretation, my rendition of Ronald Reagan to that question. Ronald Reagan, does Nancy Reagan have any logic? Well, let me answer that. <laughs> uh, really. It's astounding what the United States has been able to take. You're talking about a nation can take punching. Think of the United States still on its feet. It's astounding. 
go and figure out figure how this absence of anything honest and generous and logic has been able to attack a whole continent is because of the size of the land mass and the wonderful aspect of human living. If Europe had this their way, would there be a United States? Where would it be right now? It'd be thousands of languages and they'd love to see the United States in complete. I mean, it's in anarchy. They'd sure like to see her like Europe. Worse, where they could never get along ever. If Europe had their way, the United States would look just like Europe. A uh, uh, avalanche of anarchy. The Europe royalty. England's influence. Avalanche of anarchy. This, they're still back, it looks like old London pre-BC. It still is in Shanghai on the street. God knows where you'll end up. London. And usually, the queen knew about every bit of it. <laughs> she sure did. I don't know how the hell she keeps track of the crap going on in England. Or Europe, either one. And that, obviously, she's got her handle on it. I can say that. It still looks like British monarchy interference. 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 I mean, they just can't wait to flatter her some more, and I'll be damned if I know why. To the day, you can't figure out the reason for any of it. It's cockney. Just plain cockney. Bunk. Give me my afterlife. The snail finds that on the aquarium walls like a chunk. I tell you, you think snails don't like chunks on aquarium walls, you're wrong. Don't get to find one very often. Usually it's a slimy scum. Man, a chunk I can eat. Woo hoo hoo! I look forward to my afterlife. Me and the queen. A chunk. And my maker's mind. You're gonna, uh, it happens in front of every accomplishment the Lord ever did. You're gonna enjoy it. You'll be sitting in the corner the least of any kind of a uh, issue. That's for sure, humanity. Cosmos. And me and the Queen of England and Lord Dream Chamber will have a meeting. You'll enjoy it. Can you just picture it now? Every genetic line I ever walked and the Queen of England with one experience. Wow! And this line been around a while. You'll find out what mascots on ships are about. Sir Francis Drake will be there. Can you see me and Sir Francis Drake talking to the Queen of England now about piracy in Somalia? Wow! It ought to get good. I wonder if Mrs. Reagan will be there. Hmm? I wonder if Mrs. Clinton will be there looking, oh, another meeting? <laughs> Can you see the look on her face? Oh, no! <laughs> Now that'll put a smile on mine, just to see that look on Mrs. Clinton's face at the thought of another meeting. <laughs> well, Mrs. Clinton, this will be a different meeting than you've ever been to before, and I know you think that's not possible. Mrs. Clinton thinks she's seen every kind of meeting possible. Nope! Da -da -da -da, Mrs. Clinton, I'm going to wake you up in a meeting! You're going to like it! I'll make you wet your pants! <laughs> Can you see Mrs. Clinton wetting her pants saying, I've got to, I'll be right back! I'll be right back. Hold the... Don't let anything go on until I get back. I mean it. I'll be back. And don't you let this meeting go on until I get back. I'll be right back. <laughs> and because I had her giggling. Mm hmm. And that look of, oh, God. What the... Wow! Can you imagine Mrs. Clinton going, wow, at a meeting? Huh? I mean, elated. Huh? This is exciting.